and we're making a German sweetbread with raisins in the kitchen today. And now, it's time for Good Things Utah. Welcome back to Good Things Utah. If you aren't going on a vacation to Europe this summer, don't worry, you can still taste the food. We're talking about German sweet bread in the kitchen today, and we have Marcus Vosen from Vosen's Bread Paradise with us. Welcome. Hi. Thank, Thank you, you for, for being me. here. Say say the uh, German word for German sweet bread. Rosinenzopf. And I won't try it. You you <laughs> say you say it just right. You are from Germany. Yes, I am. How did you get started in baking? Well, I chose to be a baker, and so I started apprenticeship with 17, moved on to be a certified baker, then went to master school, became a certified master baker, and then just worked in the bakeries. Now, you, you act like it's not a big deal, but that's quite a process to go through. Well, all together with some experience years in between, it takes about eight years. What's the key to making great bread? To know what you're doing. <laughs> All right, well, what about for us who are not quite the experts? What, well, what do you really need to know to make this great German sweet bread? You know what, just go by your feeling. I mean, if, if you make a dough and it feels too hard or too soft, you're probably right, and change it. Change it up, okay. And where is Vosin's Bread Paradise? It's in downtown Salt Lake at 249 West 200 South, and it's just across the street from the downtown post office. What's your fa you brought such a beautiful array <laughs> of breads here. What's your favorite one to make? Well, Favorite bread to make is pretty much all the same. Favorite bread to eat, okay, I would say. Okay, let's is talk the, about eating then, because yeah. that's the most important part. <laughs> I would say the, the seven grain or our new one, the, the Italian. The, the two different styles, but those are um, my favorites right now. All right, well, I'm excited to try this German sweet bread. What ingredients do we need to make this? Well, we need flour, about 17 ounces of it, it's regular cake flour. Now this has been tough, by the way, for Marcus because he's had to convert <laughs> from the metric way to measure these. Well, yeah. So yeah, we'll we'll play, we'll have the recipe for you on the website, everybody. <laughs> so we need we have our flour. Yes. Then we take a cup of milk. All right. Should I start mixing here? Well, actually, if you, first you might want to put in the salt and the sugar. All right. All the, you usually dry uh, mix all the dry, dry ingredients. Dry ingredients first. So how much salt do we have in here? That is about half an ounce. Okay. And, and then about two ounces of sugar. Two ounces of sugar. Mm -hmm. One and a half ounces of the instant yeast. Or dry yeast. Pretty any, easy to get. Any and kind of yeast is okay kind, to yeah. use. And then, um, well, next thing I would say you... Want to mix our dry ingredients? You just want to stir a little bit? No, nah, you don't have to. Because no, have you, to. you mix it in like a KitchenAid or with a mix or by hand. About 10 minutes. Is it, how do you do it? Do you ever do I, it by hand? No, I have no. mixers. I have no, machines. You have machines. I just pour it okay. in, switch it on. And All right, that's, that's the easy way to do it. Yeah. Then you put the, want to put the butter, which is about right. three ounces. Do you want to soften the butter before you put it in? Um, yeah. Well, actually, in the mixer, it's going to be softened anyway. Right. Uh, if you would do it by hand, yes, you want to have it soft. Okay. Not liquid, but soft. All right, and that is actually pretty soft. It's room temperature here. Mm hmm. And then you just crack the eggs in. Okay, we'll crack the egg, crack mm -hmm. the eggs, put and those in. And the milk. And the milk. And how much milk? Uh, milk is about, let me see, a cup. A cup of milk. <laughs> yes. Okay. So we're going to mix all this together, and usually we'll be in the mixing bowl or the KitchenAid, or do it by hand if you like. You can do it by hand, yeah. You want to have it in a bowl big enough so it doesn't come over the side, and now, then you just mix it until it's, like, if it uh, until it has a consistency that you can take it out of the bowl, and then you want to need it. All right, you brought some, so let's grab yes, that I did. and let's start. <laughs> How long would you be needing it before it'd be the right consistency, do you think? I would say you... Let's move these out of the way. You would go and, and, and I mean, you take it out of the bowl. Oh, yeah. And then you go and pound it. I mean, you just... Really get your arms and <laughs> oh, yes. into it. Okay. You, you just go like, like crazy and... Just give it the, your best shot. And that's for about 10 minutes. Did you let that rise, by the way, before you started rolling it out? Uh, yeah. How long do we need to let it rise before we're ready to roll it well, out and bake? Actually, this is a pretty flexible dough. You can, after, after you mixed it and it's done, you should let it rest because it's going to be stiff and hard to roll okay. out. Maybe like 10, 15 minutes, just oh, to so give it some time to, to relax. You not don't have to long. let it proof. Okay. Ah, not yet. All right, so then, then it's time to get the arms into it and really get Mix it ready it, to go. Yes. Mix it and this get it ready to go. This, of course, is done already, but 
it'll take like 10 minutes by hand. KitchenAid, probably like seven or eight minutes. All right, we are going to roll this out and we're going to finish the recipe and braid it in just a couple minutes. But first, I want to refer everyone to our website again. If you missed any part of this recipe, abc4.tv, click on Good Things Utah or 975-4443. Press 1 for recipes for the German sweet bread. Coming up next, everybody, we're going to meet Miss Utah. We'll be right back. We are back in the kitchen with Marcus Vosen from Vosen's Bread Paradise, and we are finishing up that German sweet bread recipe, and you are just busy rolling out the dough here. Yeah, because this dough was sitting a little too long, so it now is kind of tense and gives you some resistance when rolling. Well, let's warn people about that. How long is too long to let the bread sit out? Well, if it starts rising uh, a lot, and then you push it back together, then it's going to kind of want to stay together. So, hmm, 10 minutes? 10 minutes, 10 okay, minutes. 10 minutes. Don't let it rise and longer than that. And the colder dough is, the easier it's to work. If you have it like room temperature or warmer. So maybe put it in the Well, use fridge? cold milk. Use cold milk, good idea you have in, the, in the recipe when you add that in. Yes. We've also added raisins. So if you have people in your family that like raisins, you can do it with, or we with also that. have some dough without. So either way, now this is a bread that you braid before you bake. Yes. So we're going to have fun showing you how to roll this out and braid it now. Okay, what we do is first we, we roll it a little longer. Like right. a You've made a pretty sausage. long snake-like well, strip here. you want to have it even longer, but as I said, this dough doesn't make it too easy. We let it sit a little bit too long. Now, what you want to make the three... Because you can piece. you can use it. how many different ways to braid? One piece, two piece, three, four, five, six, whatever. All right, give me the easiest one. The three. Three, all right. Okay, so, so you want to divide pieces. it into three equal pieces, which you would do like this. All right, so you just fold it up. Then you cut it. Cut it. And then you should have three pieces which are about the same. Okay, let's move this a little bit. And then you want to so Should we roll, roll these it. out? How thin should I roll them out? Well, the, the longer and thinner, the better. Longer and thinner, the better. But as I said, this dough is not really making it easy. One trick would be that now you take this one here and cut it even in half, but leave a piece at the end, and then you take it this way, and boom, you get it already pretty much. So if the, the dough's not you giving want. for you, just cut it again. Yes. Just you might want to try. Okay, should I just cut this one right down the middle? Mm-hmm. All right, I've been calling this German sweet bread, Marcus, but there is a German word for this. Which would be Rosinenzöpfe. Rosinenzöpfe. Rosinenzöpfe, yeah. Rosinenzöpfe. How'd I do? I'm oh, pretty good. I sound like a Utah trying to speak German? Yes, you okay. do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you want to leave it together at the end. Oh, I, I cut the end, the end. Okay, leave matter. it together at the end. That's the beauty about dough, you can kind of mend it back together. Okay. And if your raisins fall out, like they keep doing with our dough, just stick them back just in there. Just stick them back in. Stick them back in That's there. That's the way to do it. Okay, am I ready to braid? Yes, you are. Now, to what make do I it do? easier, you want to put a little flour in Eat. between so they don't stick together too much. Easy is good. Yes. Throw a lot of flour so put on there. a little there. flour, yes. Okay. Gives the cleaner some work to do. Now, this is just like hair. Yes, it is. The three you braid is. just like... Most people braid hair in three. But what you want to do is... Start at the top. I'm well, already at the wrong no, spot. No, actually not. You want to start in the middle because that makes it easy. All right, if you, you start at the top, you have all those long sinks. Okay, you start it and then show me how. Oh, okay. And I broke that one in the middle. Let's, <laughs> let's gonna, squeeze that okay, back together. There we go. What you do is you just put that o over that one, all right. that over that one, over that one, just step by step. And then you're just going to go from both sides. Yes. And then should... only, only one thing is you have to turn it around. Otherwise, you start putting stuff under. If you just turn around like now, turn it around. to stay, you would put it under. To avoid that, you just flip it over. Flip it over. And now you just... And it continues that nice looking braid there. Oh, the dough enough. wasn't that messed up. Easy enough. Okay, and then you just kind of push this yeah, so bottom part together. Yes, you push it really bad together. together. And then you take a greased pan. Okay, so you definitely want to grease the pan oh, yes. first. Oh, yes. Or use some paper that is there. All right. And now you have the choice. You can leave it long or you can, for maybe if some kids want to do it for Mother's Day, use it, do a heart. Oh, fun, or yeah. you can do like Father's a, Day's like coming a up. wreath. Yeah. All right, let's show everyone the finished product because these look so beautiful over here. I'm going to run back here and show everyone. And look, like you said, you can do it with one piece. Mm -hmm. This one you braided with? Four. 
four pieces. Mm -hmm. This That's one the is the three that we just made. Mm -hmm. And then this one is the two. Is the two. Okay, what do you bake these on? In the oven. How, um, how long do we need to bake it and how you hot? Bake them at, at about 360, 380 for about 15, 20 minutes until golden brown. Until golden want, brown. Before you put them in the oven, you want to egg wash them. Egg wash the top, and that's yes, what made it that golden brown exactly. color, about 15 to 20 minutes. And it's a great, you said, like an Easter bread, but obviously that holiday we've gone by. It's okay. Eat it any time. Maybe a breakfast bread yes. on the weekend, oh, and yes. it's a little bit sweet. Yeah, just not so, too sweet. Not too sweet. It doesn't kill you with Perf sugar. Well, good. <laughs> Perfect enough to put some jam or honey on, too. Go to our website, everybody. If you missed any part of this recipe, abc4.tv. Click on Good Things Utah, or you can call our hotline, 975 Four 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 three. Press one for recipes. And Marcus Vosen from Vosen's Bread Paradise. Thank you so much for coming. Tell us again where you're located. 249 West, 200 South, just across the street from the downtown post office. Okay, and everyone make it at home. Rosen Zafa. Rosen and Zafa. Rosen and Zafa. Okay. <laughs> All right. When we come back, everybody, should you lease or buy? We're going to talk to an expert next. <laughs>